On June 23, 2015, the auction house Kunka is going to sell the Friedrich Popkin Collection in Auction Sale 263. It features a comprehensive series of coins from Magdeburg dating from the early modern times. This is Albrecht IV of Brandenburg. He was the Archbishop of Magdeburg, and we could say that it was him who was responsible for the Reformation. This is how it happened. Together with his elder brother, Albrecht ruled the Margraviate of Brandenburg. This is what the eagle in his coat of arms alludes to. Albrecht, of course, prided himself on other titles, too. Duke of Pomerania, Burgrave of Nuremberg, and in addition, he shows the coat of arms of the Hohenzollerns. At the early age of 23, Albrecht was cardinal of several dioceses, without being ordained as a priest. This fact is referred to by the small cardinal hat above his coat of arms. He presided over the bishopric of Halberstadt, the archbishopric of Magdeburg, and the archbishopric of Mainz. Church offices were not to be had for nothing. Albrecht had paid a lot of money to the curia to get them. He was up to his ears in debt. That debt had to be cleared. To that end, Albrecht marketed an indulgence by papal agreement. The rest is history. Martin Luther's parishioners loved to buy these letters of indulgence. Their pastor was indignant and published his 95 theses. In 1524, Magdeburg became Protestant. In 1548, the emperor declared the Augsburg Interim. With the Augsburg Interim, the Catholic emperor attempted to restore the religious unity in the empire. This decree contains what the Catholic side considered a compromise in the most important religious issues. In their view, they had made quite a commitment towards the Protestants. The Protestants saw that differently. Magdeburg's attitude towards the Augsburg Interim is expressed by this double thaler. It features Christ opposing a three-headed beast. It is the devil, as proven by the fact that he reveals his true face on his belly. The other heads are his representatives on earth. A Turk on the right-hand side, the Pope in the middle. The head on the left is commonly addressed as an angel. The inscription leaves nothing to be desired in terms of clarity. Step back, Satan, you interim. The reverse depicts Christ being baptized in the Jordan River. The Holy Spirit, in the shape of a dove, hovers over the scene. The Lutherans considered baptism the central core of the promise of salvation. All ecclesiastical means of grace took a back seat to it. The new Bishop of Magdeburg, John Frederick of Brandenburg, saw that differently. He tried to implement the Augsburg Interim, by military force, with imperial help. On October 4, 1550, the siege of Magdeburg began. Responsible was Maurice of Saxony, and he was no stranger to imperial politics. He was nicknamed Judas of Meissen because he had allied with the Catholic Emperor against his brothers in faith in order to gain the title of Prince Elector. But Maurice was a convicted Lutheran. That is made clear by this coin, which he had struck during the siege of Magdeburg. On the obverse, we see the coat of arms of the city of Magdeburg. On the reverse, a rose is depicted. The five-leaf rose is known as the Luther Rose because Martin Luther used it as his seal. The Lutherans saw this rose as a token of their connection with the new faith, exactly like the motto on the reverse. Verbum Domini Manet in Eternum, the word of the Lord endures forever. Maurice did not want to destroy Magdeburg. He concluded a very favorable peace treaty with his brothers in faith. That was the end of the siege, and the besieged ones regarded themselves great victors. From then on, the Protestants called lovely Magdeburg our Lord God's Chancery. On the brink of the Thirty Years' War, the city was so powerful that the chapter dared to issue its own coins without any reference to the archbishop. Moneta Archiepiscopatis Magdeburgensis, coin of the archbishopric of Magdeburg, reads the inscription on this specimen. The reverse depicts St. Maurice, one of the three patron saints of the archbishopric. He holds the imperial coat of arms with the double-headed eagle like a shield. 
Christian William of Brandenburg, who, as a mere 11-year-old, had become Archbishop of Magdeburg in 1598, and of course issued coins in this capacity, was irrelevant. Magdeburg felt safe and strong. The city celebrated the anniversary of the Reformation in 1617 with this magnificent coin. Its reverse features the portraits of Jan Hus and Martin Luther. In 1622, the city council issued this presentation piece on the foundation of the city by Emperor Otto I. Magdeburg had always understood its name as Burg de Jungfrauen, Maiden's Castle, and illustrated it on its coat of arms accordingly. This is what the triumphal chariot alludes to, with which Lady Venus drives the three graces into town. Confronted with this extent of nudity, Puritan numismatists of the 19th century began to call these coins horror's chariot dollar. The contemporaries had no such associations. They were proud of their Parthenopolis, their city of maidens. The scholars of Magdeburg had created a beautiful foundation legend. Julius Caesar was said to have founded several fortresses in Germany, including Magdeburg. He named it Parthenopolis, City of Maidens, in honor of a chaste goddess. That is precisely what the inscription below the chariot refers to, which roughly translates as, Venus, the pagan goddess, delicate, worshipped at this place alone. Praise God, for now the divine word, in her stead, is rooted in this place. Catholic Emperor Ferdinand II was of course infuriated by this much Protestant self-confidence. He decided to make an example of Magdeburg, to illustrate what he would do to those who defied his policy. In 1629, Wallenstein laid siege on the city for 28 weeks. Coins like these bear testimony to his attempt to subject Magdeburg to the imperial will. Only a few weeks later, Gustavus Adolf retook the city for the Protestants, only to leave it to its fate. And that fate was cruel. After a second capture by the Catholic army, a starving soldiery invaded the city on May 20, 1631, killed, pillaged, and raped. More than 20,000 people are said to have lost their lives during the so-called Magdeburg Wedding, or, as General Pappenheim wrote, and certainly, since the destruction of Jerusalem, no more awful work and judgment of the Lord has been seen. Magdeburg was rebuilt as a city which was loyal to the emperor, as we are told by this Reichstaller. It shows both the title of the emperor and the portrait of the ruler as a heart shield on the imperial eagle. August of Saxe Weissenfels was the last Archbishop of Magdeburg. After his death in 1680, the city became part of the Margraviate of Brandenburg following the terms of the Peace of Westphalia. We, the Auction House Kunke, would like to invite you to our June auction sale 2015. If we have sparked your interest with this film, we cordially invite you to join us at our auction sale 263 on June 23rd and June 24th. Please do not hesitate to contact us should you have any further questions.